Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the induced EMF. An EMF is induced in a coil or conductor whenever there is a change in flux linkage that is based on the Faraday's law. Whenever there is a flux linkage, EMF is induced in the coil or conductor. So, this change in flux can be brought into the following two different way. The change in flux can be done in a two different ways. First, you will see the first one. In the first case, the conductor is moved in a stationary magnetic field. We have two terms, one is magnetic field, another one conductor. If the conductor is moving in a static magnetic field, such a way that there is a magnitude change in the flux linkage. This kind of induced EMF is known as dynamically induced EMF because the conductor is moving. The conductor is moving and the magnetic field is stationary. Due to mov movement of this conductor, there is a flux linkage so that EMF is induced. Because of conductor movement, we termed as dynamically induced EMF. So, that is applicable in a generators. The generator, the conductor is, is a moving part. In the second case, the conductor is stationary, but the magnetic field is moving or changing. Magnetic field flux linkage is moving from one coil to another coil, but the conductor remains stationary. So, this kind of induced EMF is known as statically induced EMF because conductor is stationary. So, it is applicable in the transformer. Transformer is a static device, not a rotating device. The conductor also stationary, only the magnetic flux is moving from primary coil to secondary coil. There is a flux linkage between primary coil and secondary coil. So, due to the stationary conductor, it is termed as a statically induced EMF. Now, we will go for the expression of the first case and second case. First, we will consider the dynamically induced EMF. So, we already discussed when a conductor is moved in a stationary magnetic field, so that magnetic flux linkage with its changes in magnitude as the conductor is subjected to a changing magnetic, therefore the EMF is induced. The conductor is moving, so due to that magnetic flux linkage will change us, so that the EMF is induced. The induced EMF in such a way that is a dynamically induced as a DC generator or motor. It is called because EMF is induced in a conductor when it is moving. Due to the movement of conductor, we are saying that it is a induced EMF. Now, we will refer the diagram. So, in this diagram, this is the magnetic field. This line represents the uniform magnetic field with the magnetic flux density of B. This unit. Here, one conductor is available. Now, initially, it is stationary. This V is nothing but velocity. So, due to flux linkage, it will move at an angle. So, this is the second position, movement. This is the magnetic field of line conductor. Conductor is moving at a particular angle. So, this is a vertical, is a vertical component. V sin theta. This is horizontal component. V cos theta. So, this is the angle. It is in a stable stable condition it is at a rotating condition so when this conductor placed in the magnetic field due to change of this magnetic flux linkage the conductor will start rotate this is stationary this one rotating position it is rotating at an angle of theta now we will see what is the expression for induced emf So, here we consider a conductor with the length L meters moving in a velocity of V meter per second at right angle to the uniformly stationary magnetic field of flux density B Weber per meter square. So, we consider one conductor with the length is L. The velocity is V meter per second that is at a right angle to the stationary magnetic field with the flux density B Weber per meter square. Let the conductor moves through a small distance dx in a time dt seconds. We assume that when the due to flux linkage the conductor is moving. Now we assume that the conductor moved by the small distance is dx. The time is dt. Now we will go to the 
derivation so the area swept swept by the conductor the area covered by the conductor is l into dx length of the conductor into distance covered by the conductor so a equal to l into dx meter square area covered by the conductor is nothing but length of the conductor and distance moved by the conductor l into dx so flux magnetic flux cut by the conductor is d pi is magnetic flux density into area covered area swept this b equal to pi by a so pi equal to b into a so d pi equal to b into this area covered is l dx so from this right so the magnetic flux density is b this area swept is l dx so b l dx d pi so according to faraday's law due to rate of change of flux the emf is induced so e equal to n d pi by dt that is the expression given by the faraday's law now we'll substitute the pi from the above equation so n d pi by dt pi is b l dx so by simplification we got b l dx by dt this b l is constant b x by dt the n is taken as one number of turns is only one so the dx by dt distance divided by time is nothing but velocity so e equal to b l into v magnetic field intensity length of the coil and velocity so dx by dt is nothing but velocity now we'll go for further simplification so this equation e equal to b l v is giving the dynamically induced emf when the conductor moves right angle to the magnetic field suppose if the conductor move at an angle of theta is represented in the second diagram to a magnetic field then the emf induced due to only the per perpendicular component of the velocity is given by e equal to b l b sin theta we need to consider only perpendicular component horizontal component no need to consider only perpendicular component is considered so that e equal to b l b sin theta so the induced emf dynamically induced emf is nothing but e equal to b l b sin theta now we got the expression for induced emf now we'll go to the second case statically induced emf in the statically induced emf again there are two types available self induced and mutually induced self induced mean only one coil mutually induced mean there are mutual inductance between two coils are available first we will consider the self induced emf so consider this coil an iron core is available over which the coil is winded having only one coil so that is called a self induced so when the supply is given and the voltage is given the current will start flowing through the coil due to rate of change of current emf is induced in the coil flux is produced flux is produced in the coil so this line the red color dotted lines is nothing but a flux produced by the coil so this is the inductor this coil is termed as inductor due to rate of change of flux emf is induced in the coil so we have iron core over which coil is winded when the supply is given the current starts flows due to rate of change of this current flux is produced in the coil that is indicated by the red color dotted lines due to rate of change of flux emf is induced in the coil so this is nothing but self induced emf because we have only one coil the emf due to only the self inductance so that it is called a self induced emf now we'll see the description when an emf is induced in a coil due to the change of its own flux due to its own magnetic flux only one coil the rate of change of flux due to its own coil then it is known as a self induced emf we'll see the another description so when a current flowing in a coil magnetic field is produced by this current flows through the coil if the current in the coil changes the magnetic field linkage also changes so due to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction the change in flux will induce the emf in the coil now we'll go for the derivation 
So due to its own flux linkage, the induced EMF is known as a self-induced EMF. So the self-induced EMF, we can get it from the, first we will start with the inductance, L equal to N pi by I, it's a general formula for inductance, cross multiply this so that L I equal to N into pi. Now differentiate on both the side, so that L into D I by D T, so here the current is changing, N is constant, so D pi by D T, so L D I by D T equal to N D pi by D T, we start from the inductor expression, cross multiplied and differentiated on both the side with respect to time. So, but the, from the Faraday's law, E equal to minus n d pi by dt. We know that E equal to minus n d pi by dt. So, other case, n d pi by dt can be written as minus E. So, we can replace this term, n d pi by dt with the term minus E, because based on the Lenz law, we have negative sign the opposing lens law giving the clear cut uh, expression that it is opposing so that we are getting negative sign. So, this equation become L d i by d t equal to minus e based on this n d pi by d t is replaced by minus e. So, that can be written as e equal to minus L d i by d t. So, this is nothing but self induced e m e equal to minus L d i by d t is the expression for self-induced EMF. Self-induced EMF means having only one coil EMF due to its own flux linkage. Now, we will go to the mutually induced EMF. When an EMF is induced in a coil due to changing magnetic flux of neighboring coil, another coil is known as mutually induced EMF. Mutually means there are two coils available the EMF induced in the first one coil is due to magnetic flux linkage in the second coil, another coil, neighboring coil. In that case, it is called a mutually induced EMF. Now, we will see the diagram. Now, consider the two coils. In previous self-induced EMF, we have only one coil. Here, mutually induced, we have two coils are available. So, this is ion core over which the coils are winded. Here also, another coil is winded. In the first coil, the supply is given, so that the current will flowing through the coil. Due to rate of change of current, flux is produced in the first coil. That flux with link with the second coil, because both are placed nearer. So, this is nothing but a mutual flux between coil 1 and coil 2. See here, the flux is moving from one coil to another coil. The coil is stationary. So, we have two coils are available. The first coil supply is given, current is flowing due to rate of change of current, flux is produced. That flux link with the second coil that is nothing but pi m. Due to flux linkage in the second coil, EMF will be induced in the second coil. This, this EMF is due to rate of change of flux in the first second coil and current through the first coil. So, that it is called a mutual flux and mutually induced EMF. Now, we will see the description. Consider two coils 1 and 2 placed adjacent to each other. The fraction of magnetic flux produced by coil 1 links with the coil 2, that is the mutual flux. The magnetic flux which is common to both coil 1 and 2 is called a mutual flux pi m, so it is indicated in the diagram. Now, if the current in the coil 1 changes, mutual flux also changes, thus EMF is induced in the both the coil, right. The flux produced in the coil 1 link with the second coil also. So, there is any change in the current will change in the flux due to that the EMF will be induced. The EMF induced in coil 2 is known as mutually induced EMF since it is induced due to change in flux which is produced by coil 1. The EMF produced in coil 1 is due to the flux linkage in the coil 1. So, that it is called a mutually induced EMF. So, we can see the derivation for the mutually induced EMF. We start from mutual inductance m equal to n 2 pi 1 by i 1. First, we consider the second coil n 2 pi 1 by i 1. So, cross multiply this 
so that is m i1 equal to n2 pi1 m i2 i will go for the further simplification now differentiate the above expression with respect to time so that m d i1 by dt equal to n2 d pi1 by dt this m is constant so it is i is differentiated here pi is differentiated but we know that from the Faraday's law E equal to minus N2 d pi 1 by d2 dt rate of change of flux. So, that can be written as N2 d pi 1 by dt equal to minus E. So, we can replace this term N2 d pi 1 with a minus E. So, this minus is nothing but based on the lens law. So, that M di 1 by dt this one equal to this term is replaced as minus E. So, that can be written as E equal to minus M di1 by dt. So, this is nothing but mutually induced EMF minus M di1 by dt, the expression for mutually induced EMF is a second coil. Suppose if it is induced in the first coil, the second coil is energized and EMF is induced in the second first coil, the same thing can be written as E equal to minus M di2 by dt. Here we have di1, EMF induced in the second coil, current flow in the first coil. Here EMF induced in this first coil, the current flows in the second coil. So, both are induced EMF, this one refers the second coil, this one refers the first coil. So, in this video we discuss about the self-induced EMF and mutually induced EMF. We got the expression for both self-induced and mutually induced EMF. Thank you.